Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Malyala. In this particular video, I am going to give you all the details related to Manipal counselling after round 1. So what are the things you need to keep in your mind in order to go to round 2? So what are the cutoffs of round 1? And uh, what are the deadlines? What are the important dates? All these things I will be showing you. Before going into the video, a small request from my end. Everyone, please do subscribe the channel so that you will get all the content to various entrance exams various counselings what are you guys waiting for turn the red color subscribe button into grey and uh, make me happy chalo let's get into the video if you see here uh, firstly like these are the cutoffs of for after round one in the manipal so these are the closing ranks so based on these closing ranks you need to decide for for all those who didn't enter the counselling yet still you can enter now so when the dates are coming i'll show what are the exact dates still you can enter now seeing at the cutoffs for example if your rank is 37,000 if you feel like can you get something like data science or something like that in any of the campus if you see here 37,000 right if you see the data science of um, uh, Manipal Jaipur campus is 35,449 so it is like very near to your rank in that case you can decide that okay I'll pay and enter in the second round or else if you are like I wanted to wait for one more round and enter in the uh, third round for that you need to wait until round two cutoffs comes that round two cutoffs comes when round two uh, allocation completes so you have to wait for that so as of now this is the data we have after the round one these are the closing ranks so based on this you need to decide whether you are going to uh, round two or not or you wanted to withdraw from round one I mean after the round one if you didn't get any allotment if you can come out so that you'll get the 10,000 back so that is how the cutoffs are going to be helpful you can just take a screenshot so that it will be helpful for you uh, for the further process now let me just uh, show you uh, the important dates and all the stuff related to fees and the dates for for round two and all so what are the things you need to keep in the mind before you go into round two so I'll just show you all those so if you see here uh, this is these are the like important timelines whoever got allotment whoever got allotment whoever will get the seat in manipal that 10000 will be considered into your fee fees don't worry about the 10000 which you paid during the registration now the main thing is there will be two installments in order to pay the tuition fee first installment will be 165000 which you need to pay before 7th july if you don't pay after getting the allotment your seat will be cancelled and the 10000 which you paid as a registration fee will also be not given to you so please keep that in the mind and okay you paid 1,65,000 fine the if you didn't pay the second installment of 1,60,000 by 25th July 2022 in that case your seat will be cancelled but your money will be getting back to you like 1,65,000 what you paid but that 10,000 will not be refunded back this 1,65,000 it can uh, get refunded to you so if you get the seat either accept or not accept so if you accept it it will be included in the fees if you don't accept it they will take the money you will not get any money if you paid 10,000 but you still you didn't got any option any seat in that case only they will refund your 10,000 back okay please keep that in the mind so sometimes few issues may happen right if you pay the fees on last day if that uh, didn't reflect on their website they may cancel your seat so better try to pay so today's date is 4th try to pay by tomorrow itself 7th is the last date so about for the first installment so now the second thing is like on completion of course fee first installment allotted candidates will become provisionally admitted candidates provisionally in the sense it's not the complete completion of the admission process so if they feel that you are not eligible they can cancel your seat it's like 50 50 either it is confirmed not confirmed failure to make first installment payment with the stipulated time will leads to instantaneous forfeiture of a seat and waitlist deposit of 10,000 for feature in the sense go away that's what and out of the counseling process so next round so for the next round those who are registered so with 10,000 those who enter they can enter now newly not an issue uh, like already admitted candidates if I got some seat keeping that seat like and I can also change my options again I can keep some options above or I can do that and unallotted candidates unallotted in the sense they've participated in the first round but they didn't got any seat they can also change their options during 11th to 13th July so that is the date of round 2 unregistered candidates and exited candidates with a uh, four feature of uh, waitlist deposit can participate in the counseling by paying rupees 10,000 waitlist deposit those who didn't register yet in the round 1 they wanted to enter for round two they can also pay 10,000 and those who got allotment but somehow it got cancelled due to late fee payment or some other issues and they came out of the counselling in order to enter the counselling again they need to pay 10,000 
so that's about the uh, real important updates about uh, the counseling of manipal i hope this video is will be really helpful for all those who are participating in manipal counseling 2022 so that's it for this video guys if you find this is a time worth video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind so finally just turn the red color subscribe button to the gray and hit the bell icon